Morning friends, this will have to be quick. I am going to do today my first full day on Simply Filling. Um, I tracked yesterday as if I was doing Simply Filling, but I didn't actually know I was doing Simply Filling until after breakfast. So this morning I'm having basically the same breakfast as yesterday, but today... Hold on. Today I am using the Pepperidge Farm Light Soft Wheat Bread. Now normally these are one smart point a slice, so a good deal. They're, they're probably just as small as the Sara Lee bread, but I think they taste better. Um, they are uh, zero points on Simply Filling. So I have two points of avocado on here, so I do have to count the two points of avocado. Um, I have less than two teaspoons of the Cedars Lemon Hummus, which is zero, and then just some sprouts on the top. In my coffee today, I have just one tablespoon of the I'm Back to Pumpkin Spice because my store does not have the peppermint mocha anymore. I'm so sad because this year I was going to stock up on that one and it looks like I'll still be able to stock up on the pumpkin, which is fine. Um, so I have one tablespoon of that and some cashew milk, so that is zero points. So I have a two-point breakfast. Um, I am going to try and stick to the... When I switched yesterday, of course, my weeks start on Mondays. Oh, and I'm going to eat a banana. Um, my weeks start on Mondays, and I had already tracked Monday, Tuesday, and... Monday and Tuesday, so I didn't have, when I switched it, changed everything, and I only had like 17 weekly points left because it tracked everything that I had already eaten um, that wasn't simply filling and took most of my points away. So I'm going to try to stick to really low, only like three or four points worth of unsimply filling food a day until Monday because most actually I think I only had like 12 12 weeklies left yesterday because it took into consideration everything I've eaten all week well Monday and Tuesday so I'm going to just do the best I can to stick to at least under five because I think if I did the math right, if I get 28 weeklies, I should be able to use four points a day, seven days. That's 28. So I'm going to try to stick to four points a day. So, so far I've had two. Um, I'm going to do a little meal prep today. Just a minute, please. I bought these cute little meal. They're two-sided. Just a minute. Thank you. I'll come turn it back on. Um, I bought these cute little meal prep. There's three of them. So I'm going to try to cook up some rice and some beans and some vegetables. No way! And get those portioned for a zero point lunch option for the next couple of days. Um, and then I am making... They're pretty big, too. Um, I am making shepherd's pie for my husband and my kids for supper so I will probably just eat pea soup again because it was delicious um, for one cup it is one smart point just for the ham that is in there um, so I'll either have one or two pieces I mean two servings if I have two servings that'll be my four points for today so that being said I'm gonna go eat my breakfast and I will check in with you when I can okay bye Morning friends, happy Friday. So we made it through another week. It is almost nine o'clock and I have had almost a whole tumbler of water and I'm just starting a zero point cup of coffee. There is one tablespoon of the Coffee Mate sugar-free pumpkin spice creamer in there and a little splash of unsweetened original cashew milk so zero points for that I'm trying to decide on breakfast I'm not sure 
what I want this morning. We got a lot of snow last night. Let's see if I can show you. It's still snowing. Um, those are stairs right there that were clear um, last night. That's where my dad, uh, where my dad, where my mom's dog goes out. Um, let's see. Um, those are our vehicles that were clear. My stepdad um, snowblowed the whole yard, like the walkways and stuff last night. We got, I'd say a good six or seven inches last night on top of what we got all day yesterday and it is still snowing. So the kids and I are not leaving the house. We don't have to leave all weekend. Um, Grayson starts back at school on Tuesday, Monday? Tuesday, Monday, sorry, Monday. Um, so until then we don't have to go anywhere, so. I am going to try and figure out what to have for breakfast, and I will see you guys in a bit. Bye! Alright friends, it is breakfast time. So, I have quite a few new subscribers in the last few days, so I'm just going to kind of go over what I have on my plate and the items that I use. It's a pretty typical breakfast. I have a piece of avocado toast and an apple. So not exactly a simply filling breakfast, but it is the one I want to eat today. Um, the total points for my breakfast are three smart points, so I will just have to be really careful the rest of the day to only eat simply, simple filling foods, simply filling foods, which is fine. So, this is my bread of choice. There are simply filling breads out there. Um, yesterday I ate simply filling bread. This morning I felt like this one. So this is the Good Food for Life Ezekiel Sesame Bread. It is my favorite so far. I have not tried the cinnamon raisin one because I'm afraid I would eat the whole loaf. But everybody said that it's really good. So on there I have less than one teaspoon of this Cedar's Zesty Lemon Hummus. For smart points, you can have two tablespoons for one smart point, and you can have up to two teaspoons for zero smart points. So there's zero points worth on there. Then there is a handful of these organic pea shoots. I've tried other sprouts, like regular alfalfa sprouts or radish sprouts, or they're all good, but these are my favorite. Um, Excuse me. So I just have a handful. This is a pretty big tub. It is six ounces of sprouts, which is a lot. I think I pay like $3.99 for this tub. But this tub, if I just, even if I ate two pieces of toast every morning, lasts me like two weeks. So, and they keep pretty well. And then I have one point worth, which is 27 grams of sliced avocado on the top. And then I have zero points worth of the shelled hemp seeds. Um, I really like the flavor. It gives it a little bit. I mean, how much I have on there is probably only one or two grams of protein, but I'm okay with that. You can have up to three ounces of, uh, three ounces, three grams of these for one smart point. So I measured out, I don't usually measure, I just sprinkle them on and I know that I don't, but I wanted to see how much three grams actually was and let me show you. Okay, so I measured out in my little bowl. There is probably, in the app, when you put in one teaspoon, it is one point, but there is at least one teaspoon here if not a little bit more. Um, so basically what I did this morning was put that in the bowl and then I just took half and put the rest back in the bag. Um, but I weighed it out, this is three grams. So you can have three grams for zero points, four grams is one point. So all I did was just put that in a bowl just to kind of eyeball it again because it's something that I don't tend to measure. I just kind of sprinkle it on top. 
So that's quite a lot, actually. I'd say almost, looks almost like a tablespoon worth. And then I just have an apple with some cinnamon. So two points for the Ezekiel bread, one point for the avocado. Zero points for the hummus, zero points for the sprouts, zero points for the apple. Zero points for my coffee, and I'm working on my second cup of water. So a three smart point breakfast or a three weekly. I took three from my weeklies to eat my breakfast. Um, I'm hoping my mom can pick me up some old-fashioned oats or some steel-cut oats today um, while she is out. It is too snowy out there for me to drag two kids out um, so that I could start making some overnight oats for my breakfast. I am going to sit and eat this and start looking on Pinterest for some meal prep. Pre uh, just, I'll get him just a minute um, just to get some meal prep done, some meal planning. I have a video to film for my look back at 2016 and my goals for 2017. I'm doing a collab with the Motivated Muffins for that, so I need to get that filmed. I need to get my giveaway stuff all set out. Um, today and tomorrow are the last two days to today and tomorrow and Sunday. When's the first? Sunday. Today and tomorrow are the last two days to enter. It ends at midnight tomorrow. So if you have not subscribed and commented on my giveaway video, the link will be down below. The link has been on every video I have uploaded in the last two weeks, I think. Um, so go check that giveaway video out. Subscribe to my channel if you have not. And leave a comment and you will automatically be entered to win the giveaway. Probably this afternoon I will insert a little clip into this video of what, or maybe I'll do a different video, I'm not really sure yet, of what the giveaway will be. So stay tuned. Bye guys! Hi friends! So it is time for lunch and I wanted to show you You've already seen what I'm having. I'm having my meal prep container that has a portion of rice salad and then a green salad. And I just took my Happy Herbivore book and <coughs> I made some vegan sorry, had a brain cramp. Vegan Simply Filling Mayonnaise. Now the mayonnaise in this book is right here. It is just, um, it says one 12 ounce package of tofu. I only used half of a package of tofu. Two to three tablespoons of Dijon mustard, two teaspoons of vinegar, lemon juice, and a little bit of agave nectar. So I did, I used a little of the here via sugar substitute but other than that I did it the same way and then let me sorry I gotta find the page right mayo mayo 232 then I took the mayonnaise that I made And I made it into a ranch. So it has the mayonnaise, granulated garlic. I used whole garlic cloves, granulated onion. I didn't use any of that salt and dill. I actually just did what I did with the um, the regular vegan mayonnaise that I have been making. I mean the vegan, the non-dairy ranch. I used some of the seasoning for the ranch dip. This is just herbs and spices. So I got this whole jar. I actually didn't care for the texture. It was a little grainy, I think, because of the tofu. So I added one tablespoon of the store-bought vegan mayonnaise. 
So as long as I get more than four servings out of this jar, it's zero smart points. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my salad here, the green salad. And I have a zero smart point, fully, um, simply filling lunch. So I am going to eat and yeah, I'm gonna eat. And I'll see you guys after, bye. Hi friends, so I just did an impromptu dinner time. It's after three o'clock and I have been just planning on having pea soup all day. It is still really cold out, it's really snowy. We've gotten about, oh, I'd say eight to 10 inches in the last 24 hours or so and it's cold and really windy. So I've been planning on having pea soup, but the more I thought about it, I really don't want to eat ham today. So, I started scanning my cupboards and of course I was not prepared for simply filling at all. It was very much a last minute decision. I've been thinking about it for a while but I had planned on starting it after the new year. So I started looking around and I settled on a curry which I just barely stuck in my crock pot. Oh, you want some more? The um recipe I found on Pinterest, of course, there you go, it says that if you cook it on high, it should cook in about two hours. I could go as long as three, three and a half hours before I'm going to need to eat supper. So I threw in, I threw in a can of chickpeas, half of a head of cauliflower, there's a little bit left right here. Sorry, my cutting board is a mess. I literally just got done. Um, a can of baby cherry tomatoes. Um, half of a red pepper. Um, half of a small onion. Two carrots. Two teaspoons. Two pretty heaping, so maybe a tablespoon of yellow curry paste. One can of light coconut milk. And... I will throw some cilantro in in a while. I'm just going to let it cook. And it says six servings. If I can get six to eight servings, it should be eight servings. It will be one point for the coconut milk. And if I only get six servings, it'll be two points, which is the same points as the... Mom, let's get a peach. Just a second. Oh, here. Let me get the I love that my kids love vegetables. She just ate the other half of that red pepper. Um, Want more pepper? Can I have some pepper? Here. Um, See, so either one or two points, which is fine. Um, as of right now, I haven't had any points yet today, right? Oh, I did. I had three this morning for my breakfast. Um, so we are looking at, sorry, just letting my app upload. taking for her. I still have 12 points and all I have left is the rest of today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Um, and obviously I will be eating probably tomorrow I will eat the other uh, meal prep. Maybe not. I don't know. I have two meal prep containers left. I still have some pea soup to eat this weekend. And I'm going to have curry to eat. So I don't think that that will be a problem. My mom is supposed to bring me home some uh, old-fashioned oats, which I will use to make some uh, overnight oats, which will be zero smart points and completely simply filling. So I'm going to eat two points worth of curry. Um, I will probably make some...
jasmine or batsmati rice for my husband but i have some of the brown rice left in my fridge from the brown rice salad that i made yesterday so i will just eat it on that so it will be one or two points depending on how many servings i get and fingers crossed the only thing i'm worried about cooking in there is the carrots i debated whether i should just steam them in the microwave but the girl said that she it cooked for her in two hours so if i have three I'll just let it cook until I'm ready to eat. Um, I don't mind, especially in things like a curry or something, I don't mind mushy vegetables or overcooked vegetables. Um, in a, so. Hey right, guys, <laughs> Papa, my stepfather, has the day off today. It's a floating holiday. So he was shoveling and needed my keys so he can snow blow the driveway. Okay, so curry in the crock pot. Pray that it gets done. I am working, trying to work on a meal plan. Feels like in just a couple days I've been doing this, I've just been eating the same things over and over and over again. So I'm trying to do some research. It's hard. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot out there for simply filling, let alone simply filling plant-based foods. So I'm working on it. I'll keep you posted. Bye. Hi friends. Sorry about that. I don't know. I think it's broken. So I'm really sorry. I'm all congested and stuffy. But I am making some overnight oats and I thought I would just show you what I'm doing because it's really quick and simple. I have silk, cashew milk, this is unsweetened, not vanilla, just original. You can have up to two thirds a cup of that for zero smart points. Um, it is not a simply filling food but it is zero points. I have some pure pumpkin. I have some pumpkin pie spice. Oh look, I did it this way, look. Just a minute, buddy. I had two packets of the Pure Via. Oh look, I did it this Here's way. Somebody. Go that way. I'm trying to get my helmet on. It's soft. <sighs> I have two jars. I save empty glass jars um, if they're a good size when I wash them for recycling I just save them I have a box on top of my fridge right there and it's just full of random uh. jars and then I just have some regular old steel cut oats the funny thing in the app I don't know anybody that would just eat these raw um, raw steel cut oats have points you have to cook them for them to be simply filling and I asked the expert, I'm sorry, my nose is running really bad. Um, I asked the expert what constitutes as cooking because I will only microwave these. And she said, that's cooking. So I don't really understand the thought process. I'm having a really hard time with the, it won't buckle, buddy. I'm it's sorry, it. just wear it. I'm, I'm having a really hard buckle. time with the way that Weight Watchers treats simply filling. It's very... Um, it seems incomplete. The experts aren't trained very well in it. They have a lot, they can't answer a lot of my questions. And it's only been two days and I've asked like 10 or 12 questions to different experts and nobody seems to be able to answer my questions and I don't feel like they're completely out there questions. Um, so I'm just kind of working off the list and making my own path. So, so far in here I have a quarter cup of the steel cut oats in each jar and one packet of the Truvia. I'm going to sprinkle in some pumpkin pie spice. You can certainly do other flavors. I've done apple cinnamon. I have done like a blueberry banana. Um, right now I'm just going to do pumpkin because it's my favorite. Um, going to do two tablespoons. These are my um, 
Pioneer Woman spoons. I'm going to do two tablespoons. It doesn't really matter. You could do as much or as little as you'd like. Two tablespoons in each one of the canned pumpkin. And they're pretty heaping. I mean, they're pretty big, but that's okay. I don't think it actually... It, I usually cook mine for like three or four minutes and I'm kind of one of those. I do it even with my regular like hot oatmeal. Um, I cook it and add a little water and cook it and add a little bit more water. Um, the other thing that makes this, and I'm not really sure why, is just a little sprinkle of salt. So I'm just going to do a little sprinkle in each one. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just a half a cup, half a cup of the cashew milk in the jar. There are a thousand recipes for overnight oats out there, and if you have a good one that you like, do it but everything in here is either zero smart points or simply filling I'm just gonna take my measuring spoon and kind of stir everything up and I'm gonna add one last thing I am going to do just one tablespoon of this to kind of give it the creamy sweetness. Honey, you can't wear it with your cat mask. It just isn't working. Oh my goodness. We are so tired today. And any of you moms out there, can you sympathize? I'm so ready for school to start again. There you go. Okay, so covers on. They look like this when they're all stirred up. I actually have a little hot pad. My grandmother makes these, and I know you guys have seen this one when I make a bowl of oatmeal. I had her specifically make one that was more so that I could stand a jar in just for making my overnight oats because when I first started Weight Watchers, this was a almost everyday breakfast for me and I haven't made them in a long time, but they're all either zero points or simply filling, so they will be a good a good a good alternative to the avocado toast which costs me points. So I'm going to pop these in the fridge. I like to let them sit for a couple of days. I will probably eat one of these tomorrow. Um, but I recommend at least two nights in the fridge. Um, at least with the steel coats. I've never done overnight oats. <sighs> Sorry guys. Um, so I recommend at least two nights in the fridge. Just like I said, I've never done the overnight oats with uh, regular rolled oats or old-fashioned oats or even the quick cooking. I know that you can. The old-fashioned oats are simply filling, but any of the other oatmeals are not. Um, so, depending on what your plan is, um, plan accordingly. Like I said, I personally, I like the steel cut oats because I like the chewiness that it has. Um, I've never been a huge regular oatmeal fan. I will eat instant oatmeal if it's available. But if I'm going to eat something like this, I like the steel cut oats. So I know that it takes a little bit longer for all the liquid to soak in and permeate it. So I don't know how it would be two days in the fridge for regular oats. But for these two, three, even four days in the fridge is fine for these. They will still be good. Um, take them out and microwave them as long or as little as you like. Some people eat them cold. Um, I don't think cooking is a requirement. Um, but I like to cook mine. And like I said, I usually warm it up, add a little water, 
stir it, cook it some more, add a little water, but I will show you that in the morning. So quick, zero point, well, they would be, yeah, zero point, well, the oats have points, and I'm not sure how many steel cut oats are. I'd say probably three or four. I think when I used to do these, they were four points. So four smart points or zero points on Simply Filling. And they are plant-based. So I will see you guys at dinner time. It is five o'clock and my curry is not done. Luckily I am not hungry. Um, if it's not done by 5.30 or so, I will eat the pea soup tonight and save the curry for tomorrow. No big deal. So, see you guys in a bit. Bye. Hey friends, so I'm not feeling very good. I'm ready just to take a bath and go to bed, but my curry isn't done, so I'm just gonna let it cook until my husband gets home and then he can shut it off. He can eat it if he wants or stick it in the fridge. I will eat it tomorrow. I am having two pieces of the Pepperidge Farm soft wheat bread, 45 calorie, simply filling, zero points. There is two points worth of Jif Whips on the top of that, so two points. And then in this bowl, I have Cheerios, which are simply filling, just regular Cheerios. Um, I have a banana and some of the pumpkin spice, um, pumpkin spice that I put in my oatmeal. And then just like two thirds of a cup of the, the unsweetened cashew milk. So the bowl of cereal is all simply filling or zero points. So just two points for the toast tonight, which means I used five points today. Um, definitely not how I intended to end my day, but I'm just not feeling good. I don't have any energy. My head hurts. I'm all stuffy and my sinuses hurt. I have a headache. So it's about six. And I'm going to eat this and go lay on the couch with the kids for a little while. And then I'll probably try to take a nice bath and put some Vicks or something on before I go to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully feeling better. Bye guys!